Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon and today is Clown Day. I guess Clown Day on Clownfish TV. We're going to talk about the Joker and another video I'm going to talk about uh, it. I went to go see It Chapter 2 yesterday and uh, I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. And yeah, we're going to talk about the Joker because there's been a lot of controversy around this movie. It hasn't even come out yet. It's almost a month away. And it's already hit the hornet's nest, uh, people for and against the Joker. And, uh, you know, high praise for Joaquin Phoenix, too. People said he's definitely an Oscar contender, even though some people do not like this movie. So before we get into that, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, it really, really helps us out, guys, immensely. Uh, YouTube's algorithm has shifted. If you want to continue to see content from us, uh, the best thing, the easiest thing, the freest thing you can do is hit that subscribe button, so please do that. Uh, we're almost at 60,000. I think we're almost at 60,000 subs, hoping for 100,000 by the end of the year. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but uh, any support is greatly appreciated. So first, we're gonna talk about the Joker backlash, which we talked about a little bit in a previous video, and then we're gonna talk about um, how amazing Joaquin Phoenix's performance in this movie is, and that people are talking that he is an Oscar contender, and that uh, the Joker is gonna be a battleground. It's gonna be a battleground, I think, it's going to be a pop culture battleground. Uh, I think this fall it's going to be one that people are talking about for a while. Hopefully not for the wrong reasons. God forbid uh, we have another incident like we had with The Dark Knight Rises. Um, that was horrible. And uh, I do not believe, though, that the movie itself was the issue. I think it's sick individuals you know, using, uh, using opportunities uh, using characters to to perform uh, acts of violence because they're already ill. It kind of gives them the excuse, but I think you know whether it's the Joker or another character, sick people are going to latch on to you know uh, uh, some kind of persona uh, sometimes or blame. You know we're getting back to blaming video games and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, it's like the 90s all over again. Um, so hopefully we're not looking at that scenario. So, but this is what people are afraid of. This is why the Joker is face, facing backlash despite the great reviews. And, uh, you know, recently I guess some comic book editors and comic book creators have weighed in on Twitter. And I, I never thought I'd see a day where we had comic book industry people uh, decrying the Joker. One of, historically, one of the greatest comic book villains of all time. But we have comic book people uh, speaking out against this movie now. I would wager that most of them have not seen the movie since they're giving uh, giving out the press screenings right now, uh, or you had to go to the Venice Film Festival, and most comic book pundits, I don't think, have, have gotten that kind of access. So they haven't seen the film yet. They don't really know how the Joker is going to be portrayed, other than we had uh, an act of violence 10 years ago, uh, not even 10 years ago, seven or eight years ago, that, that was tenuously tied to previous incarnation of the Joker. So... Here we go. This is coming from Screen Rant. Todd Phillips' Joker movie is receiving great reviews, so why is it also facing backlash? The DC movie starring Joaquin Phoenix is the clown prince of crime premiered at the Venice Film Festival this weekend. That would be last weekend was also screened for critics elsewhere, and the early reviews for Joker have been very positive. Um, so Phoenix stars in Joker's Arthur Fleck, a would-be stand-up comedian in Gotham who, after a series of failures and setbacks, finds himself turning to a life of crime and becoming more deranged while he's at it, which sets him up on the path to becoming the Joker. So they said it's a very, a very uh, different kind of comic book movie. Yeah, I, you know, I gotta be honest, and I, I sort of uh, geeked out about it in a previous video. Uh, I was not sold on the Joker. I was not sold on it. I, I wasn't sure what I thought about the outfit. I wasn't sure what I thought about the uh, them doing a Joker origin story, since the Joker's origin has always been sort of nebulous. I, I wasn't sure what I thought. And then um, even the first trailer, I was like, yeah, okay, whatever, uh, whatever. And then that the latest trailer dropped. And I'm like, oh my God, uh, I have to see this movie. I have to see this movie. Uh, and then the reviews started coming out that Joaquin Phoenix is incredible. And I'm like, I, I really, I have to see this. This is literally my most anticipated movie for 2019 now has become Joker. And if you asked me six months ago, I would have been like, eh, you know, eh, maybe I'll catch. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and now I'm actually really pumped for this movie uh, because it is such a different take on the Joker because it doesn't really gel with the DCEU. They're kind of doing an Elseworlds thing 
with him and uh, you know I just I'm really digging what I've seen so as per the reviews that's what uh, Phillips Todd Phillips uh, Phoenix have delivered with Joker which received a standing ovation in Venice and yet online, the discourse about the movie has already started to sour with multiple backlashes and controversies emerging before the film has even been released. Joker's backlash started before anyone had actually uh, had a chance to even see the movie and instead came when the script leaked online. Despite the fact that this was just a script and even if real, not necessarily the most up-to-date version, it led some to general unhappiness and ill feeling toward the film online from those who read it because Joker isn't going to be a typical comic book movie. Many who read Joker's script weren't happy with the direction it was going in, which represented a shift away from versions seen in the comics and in previous DC movies. Um, I don't think that's what the big complaint was. There was talk it was going to make the character of Arthur Fleck too sympathetic that its handling of more topical or political issues was way off, and other controversial elements that we'll not mention outright here for the sake of spoilers, but needless to say, it made some big deviations from what's generally known or accepted about the Joker. A lot of the Joker script and the backlash to it seems to be that it wasn't what people expected or wanted from the film. No, I can tell you what the big problem is and what the problem is going to be from the press. Uh, we've already seen it. We've already seen it that people were decrying the Joker as being literally a rallying cry for white male incels. They're afraid that the 4chan crowd is going to like the Joker. They're not on board with the Joker because now Clown World has become a meme. Uh, now, there are some people who are not excited about the way that they're changing the Joker's origin, but it's been made very clear, I thought it was made very clear, this is an Elseworlds type origin and frankly i'd rather i'd rather get on board with joaquin phoenix's version of the joker than jared leto's at least you know despite the makeup despite the origin this looks to be to me uh, uh a joker that's more in line with the joker i like that i grew up with um rock star gold tooth silver teeth tattooed like whatever the hell was going on with with that joker i hated that joker was not the Joker. So the script was an early one and Phillips has confirmed that the Joker script has changed and doesn't include the, the fact that direction performances and everything else can elevate a weak script into a good movie. Hey, it's getting standing ovations. So this this is they wait they bury this in here, right? We go, we go, we go. It's like, oh people people don't like the Joker because it's not like the comic book Joker. No, this this is what it is. Something noted by reactions to Joker's leaked script, but has definitely gained more traction now that critics have seen the film is the idea of Joker being a dangerous movie. Joker is about a man who is rejected and deals with that in a very violent, aggressive way, and it has been suggested by various critics that the film could lead people to taking the wrong message from it, that it actually supports incel culture. I, I'm not even 100% sure what an incel is. Uh, and that it could lead to acts of terrorism. This movie that gets a standing ovation is going to lead people to, to acts of terrorism. That's not to say Joker openly encourages it, but that it could be interpreted that way by the wrong person. That's not to say that Doom actually encourages people to shoot people, but it could be, it could be interpreted uh, that way by people. Of course it could, especially if there's, uh, you know, some kind of a political point that a journalist or the media is trying to make. Uh, now, again, I hope to God nothing happens. <laughs> I hope to God nothing happens in regards to this movie, in regards to screening of this, you know, screenings of this movie. Uh, I hope, I hope, I hope that nothing happens. But again, can you blame a film or a video game for a crazy person doing a crazy thing? I mean, you know, this is, this is the conversation that uh, everybody's having right now. Is it, is it movies and video games? You know, we're going to have to go back to the Comics Code Authority and sanitize everything so people don't go getting crazy ideas. There are some historical precedent for this, in fairness. One of the biggest inspirations for Joker is Taxi Driver. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Um, and they talked about the presidential assassination attempt on Ronald Reagan by Hinckley. Uh, Taxi Driver formed part of his delusional fantasy that triggered the incident. But Taxi Driver hasn't been banned, has it? So... You know they're talking about the Dark Knight Rises and the the horrible tragedy associated with Dark Knight Rises. Um, 
So Joker was always going to be a controversial movie in some way. He's too big and popular a character, not to mention too disturbed for there not to be people unhappy with how things turned out for one reason or another, whether it was Phillips' direction, Phoenix's performance, changes to the character or something else entirely. You know, they go on and on and on, you know, and it, it is, I mean, this movie is a, going to be a character study. It's, you know, what makes, uh, what makes uh, deranged people tick. And if you're taking Joker off the table, then any other movie that that deals with deranged people, whether it's, you know, Hannibal Lecter or even a movie like Falling Down, you know, then I guess we have to to get rid of those, too, you know. Uh, and then at that point, you know, we've decided that we're going to be like China and ban all movies that could potentially be problematic for one reason or another. And, you know, it's going to happen. We're still going to have sick people doing sick things to each other. Um, we are. They're just going to find something else to blame uh, instead of figuring out why people are so sick and keeping sick people uh, from from being able to, to carry out uh, sick plans. So Joaquin Phoenix Joker gets major Oscar buzz after winning top award at the Venice Film Festival. Yeah, it's so weird. Um, Venice Film Festival. I think I think we're gonna see some uh, comparisons between Joker and Knives Out because they're pushing Knives Out really hard. The critics all love Knives Out. They're like, oh, Knives Out is brilliant, subversive Ryan Johnson masterpiece. Uh, and it takes down white white culture and takes down uh, uh, takes down entitlement and takes down this and that. Whereas Joker's like, yeah, here's here's a guy who's uh, clearly mentally ill and he's just had enough of it. Um, you know, from what I've seen, I think, you know, he could be an Oscar contender, but could the Oscars shut him out just because they're like, we don't want to want to give awards for this kind of performance? You know, I don't know. Joker has, all, so they put this in the headline that it's it's got major Oscar buzz, but then they're like, Joker's also received criticism for its depictions of violence. Um, and you can't mention the Joker movie without calling attention to the violence that it may uh, that it may incur. And that's what's so weird about this. Like, I can't think of any other movie, you know, did Human Centipede get this kind of backlash? Did people be like, you know, were people like, oh, you know, Human Centipede, people are going to try, uh, you know, sewing people's mouths to people's butts uh, if we put this movie out. Don't, don't do it. So this is just a really weird situation with Joker where it's it's going to be a very divisive movie. And, you know, is it going to be divisive because of the content itself, the film itself, the performances, or because of the political messaging that's being read into it? And I, I think it's going to be the latter. I think this is going to be, this is going to be one of those movies uh, like, you know, Alita, like Last Jedi, where... If you like it or don't like it, people are going to make assumptions about your your personal politics. That's what's going to happen with this movie, and uh, you know, I I personally think it's going to be a huge hit. I think it's going to be a huge hit. So people say it's an insane masterpiece. Uh, you know, I mean, I've been hearing rave, rave, rave reviews all over the place, and it's like you can't thrash a movie if it's legitimately good because you're disturbed by the content and. Joker is a disturbing character, you know, and I hate to break it to you, but the real world is a disturbing place to live uh, sometimes. And so it says it's going to make audiences uncomfortable in wild ways. It's a masterpiece, 10 out of 10. Uh, critics argue that the film glorified the Joker's acts of violence. Vandy Fair's Richard Lawson tweeted the Joker is going to be and should be very controversial adding in his review that the film is a troubling and arresting character study that gives way to veneration. In review for Time, Stephanie uh, Zacharek wrote the movie lionizes and glamorizes Arthur even as it shakes its head faux sorrowfully over his violent behavior. Now, just, just to kind of roll in some other Joker news, uh, Mark Maron's pissed off at Marvel fans because Marvel fans have been giving him flack because he doesn't like the Marvel movies. He doesn't like the Marvel movies. He said they're for grown-up male nerd childs. Grown-up, is that his actual words? Grown male nerd childs. Grown male nerd childs. Mark Maron. Uh, hey, Marvel movie fans, stop acting like outraged religious fanatics defending their belief system. 
It's okay if I don't believe, let it go. Also, I'm actually a big fan of a lot of comic art. Try to relax your mainstream asses. So Mark Maron taking pot shots at the MCU. Marvel fans are pissed off. He's going to be in Joker. He's going to be in Joker. Uh, he was on Conan and he threw some shade at Marvel. So he's not backing down. His issue is not with the comics. He's just not in the mainstream superhero movies. And the must-see hype of superhero movies, like the highest grossing movie of all time, not that he's seen it. During his Conan appearance, Mark Maron said he was proud to have not seen Avengers Endgame. You didn't miss much, Mark. It was damn disappointing after Infinity War. Uh, the topic came up when Conan O'Brien mentioned people uh, thought he played the young Stan Lee in Endgame. That would have been kind of interesting, actually. I can see it. Uh, Maron said he's never been in a Marvel movie and had some issues with him. I generally don't like them because I don't want to be bullied into seeing those. Look, Conan, I'm, I'm grown up. I'm not seven. I think those movies are for grown male nerd childs. Someone in the audience booed and ooed and Mark Maron directly lashed out at them saying, you guys are now in charge of culture. He has to drive 15 to 20 minutes to a smaller theater to watch a movie for grownups. He wasn't kidding, but he also wasn't taking it too seriously. That was part of his point. He was mocking in a sarcastic way, seeming to return to the issue in another Twitter post several hours after the one above. Good times doing the troll dance with emotional baby brains. <laughs> Forgot what an exciting waste of time this can be. What did he expect? Uh, he thought he could just say the most popular movies of all time were for grown male nerd childs and everyone would laugh or ignore it. At least he knows his mic is on. Uh, so, yeah, I mean... Does that mean that Captain Carol, Captain Marvel, is also for grown male nerd childs? I think people were, were getting more upset that he thought that comic book movies were for just men. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mark, you can't say anything anymore. God, people are so pissy about everything. Uh, Up Rocks even, Up Rocks even uh, covered it. He's not wrong, though. I mean, look, he's not wrong about the MCU. The MCU has, has sort of become very cult-like. We saw this with backlash about captain marvel you know you weren't allowed to dislike captain marvel uh without the cultists coming out the religious fanatics coming out and telling you what an awful person you were so you know, mark maron's like i don't give a shit i don't like any of them and he's allowed to he's allowed to think that but he's gonna be in joker so it's got to have something going for it mark maron who doesn't like superhero movies is going to be in this movie and i don't think it is a superhero movie i don't think joker is a superhero movie uh, at all. I think it's a character study. Uh, I think it's going to be a really interesting uh, take on the character. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, understand people's concerns. Don't know if I necessarily agree with them. Uh, you know, but um, this is going to be a very divisive movie, I'm sure. Uh, and people are going to be talking about it for a very long time. So this has been Neon. This has been Clownfish TV. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we'll talk later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.